it's your girl Miss J, day three of Target. Now yesterday when I came up here, there were maybe like seven people here. Today is the third day and look, about five minutes to eight, and you have a line of about 20, 25 people. So, we'll see if they restock the way they said they would and we'll go. Okay, it's about 15 minutes past. I got in, of course, and all the stuff that they had was on this little end cap here. Now some girl got a suitcase. They really didn't have much. I did get this, which is the um, full-size bedding set. Very pretty. It matches the curtains. And I got a couple pairs of gloves. Very cute. I got this black and white thing, whatever it is. And ask my goddaughter if she wants it. Um, got these gloves. They had a bunch of pair of panties. Got these gloves. Got this serving set. And I got a couple pair of panties. What they do have left is um, a couple of these, what do you call it? Like these lingerie sets. This is what's here. Lingerie sets. Very cute. That's all they have left and a couple of bras. But by the time you get down here, after I post this, there won't be anything. So, long story short, their restocking consisted of too few, too few, too few things. Wasn't even worth it for a lot of people to come. But anyway, people aren't happy, but Miss J is always happy because I'm just a happy girl. Anyway, day three of Target. Talk to you later. Okay, so I'm still here, and a lady, she was really sweet. I, gave, I had like about three pair of gloves, so I gave her a pair, and somebody returned something, so she gave me this. She came and found me and gave me this jacket, the puffer jacket, which is really cute. It's not my size, but I will take it, and I will either trade it or sell it, just because. And then she gave me this plate, which is really kind of pretty, but I don't need it. So, And then she gave me another one of these, because I have one. And one's really not cute, so the set was probably cuter. And along with the little thong with the matching brassiere, which is really cute. Anyway, still here, getting ready. Hey y'all, it's Miss J, and it is Thursday, I believe. The, um, I know I just came from the other Target near my house on 116th, and now I'm in Queen Center Mall. The stop is Woodhaven Boulevard off the R train, and look at all of the Missoni that they have here. Little kids' coats. They have these ugly green coats, which I think are just atrocious. The inside is very pretty, but all different sizes. They have rows and rows of the puffer jackets. Which I'm going to get one and return the one that I got today because it was small. But look at this. That's all they have, though. They had another thing with Jing, but I think the lady... Oh, she looks so cute. Let me see. Oh, <laughs> mommy, you look so sweet. Look at you and your little Missoni jacket. Oh, she looks so cute. I know. There's nothing left. I, Honey, if you went up to Manhattan, there's really nothing left. Nothing left. Nothing. Oh, you look so pretty. <laughs> oh. So anyway, let me see. Oh, there's something here. No, that's no, not Miss Sony. <laughs> anyway, let me walk around the store and see if there's okay, anything. And upstairs, they have these picture frames. They have the sweater boxes or whatever that box. That's okay. <laughs> Aren't you happy to find something? I went online today. They still had stuff. Did they? But yeah. nothing cute. Yeah, some cute stuff. No, I went online. They didn't have anything cute. Our definition of cute must be different. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It's everywhere. Isn't it? So they have all these little boxes. This lady got this plate. Can you see the other one, sweetheart? Oops, I don't want to break it. Let me just go behind here. That one. Now that's pretty. That's very pretty. And... 
Okay, y'all. Check it out. The sheets. <laughs> <laughs> they have the sheets. Which I'm going to get this for Binky. I think this will go with your blue, your purple, or whatever it is. Because so this is hot. Let me see. Full size queen. Very pretty, but they do have this. See, this is worth the trip. They have all of these out here. Still, yet. Yeah, yes, they do. And probably something else. I saw some lady with a rug. Anyway. Sometimes it takes to pay that two twenty five and get on the train and travel. Okay, now you know how I was showing you the ugly green coat? This one? I figured out a way that if you really, really must have a Masoni coat, here's what you can do. You can turn it inside out, which is what I've done here. Let's see, I'm trying to fix this camera. Just turn it inside out, totally inside out. This is the right side. You turn it inside out, and you're going to have all of this. You still have the Masoni label in the back. It's going to look like this. Then what you're going to do with the buttons is you're going to take the button, and you can either leave it. I'll get that for you. You can either leave it and turn it inside out like this and button it upside down. So when you button it upside down, it's gonna be like this. Okay, so it's gonna have that little pucker like that, but it, it's kind of cute. It's kind of a cute design, and nobody can tell how you buttoned it. Anyway, I just wanna show you this real quick because I was thinking about doing that. Okay, here's one pocket. This is the inside pocket of it, but it's going to be your outside pocket if you turn it up inside out. And then your inside pockets are still going to be here, but on the inside. You see? So, this is one way you can get around that ugly greenness by turning the coat inside out. You see, I'm going to try to put this on a shelf so that way I can walk away and you can see like the full... Yeah, there it looks good. This is how the sides look. Like that. Let me come over here. I have my purse. And let me see where I can put this. Uh, I'll put it here. Just that way it's against something. And walk away. She lives in LA, so she'll be all right. Anyway, still two left. One, two. Come out and get them. Don't say Miss J didn't tell you, because there's somebody on Craigslist selling them for fifteen hundred dollars. Come on and get yours for four hundred. Be right. Okay, y'all. So I'm still out here in Queens, and guess what happened? I came up to get the bike from my friend Binky. Y'all saw that little video where I'm getting the bike, putting on a hole for her, and they. I turned around the corner and look at what they were putting out. The shower curtains, the picture frame, and the bigger picture frames that kind of go on the wall that you can kind of like shadow box sort of thingy. Ish. They said the girl had just found them in the back. So. 
what they had. Sometimes when you stick around, it pays, but I know we all can't afford to do that. But anyway, that show. So this is what I end up getting now. All these towels. They put out some black and white towels. Binky wants those, so we'll have to let them go. They were the only two there. That's called my selfless act for the week. So she's got the shower curtain. And I got myself one. And they still have some left. There's one of those shower curtains left. Now it's three o'clock in the afternoon. By the time I put this video on, this stuff might be gone, but maybe not. Oh yeah, they still have all these shower curtains left. So this is what's left here. Three o'clock in the afternoon. Thursday. At the Elmhurst store in Queens. Oh yeah, they still have a couple of these things left. I don't really see the point of them, but 